the truth behind Xiaomi software update. So far, we've put out two videos in this particular series and they have been very well received. I really, really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving to my hard work. At the same time, I really, really request you to make sure each and every episode reaches to thousands of people. This is not a marketing material for my channel. This is actually the real truth that somebody should have done. Some of the big names in YouTube should have done by now, but we are doing it because I I am not satisfied with the money I spend on these devices. Now, the reason you see a black screen over here is because today we have updated to a OTA update of MIUI 11.0.5 on the Poco Phone F1. And for the last 10 to 15 minutes, the phone is switched off. At the same time, we're going to compare it with the first update, second update, and we will see the scores in today's update as well. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to my Telegram channel and the community. Go ahead and join us there. We are about to complete 500 subscribers there as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if at all you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support us. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's uncover the truth. All right, to start the video, uh, yeah, this guy over there. Yeah, I know a lot of you answered right, a lot of you answered wrong, but today's live stream is going to be on this surprise device. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's power the device on. Now, while the phone powers on to some people who might be watching this for the first time, let me just give you a quick, quick background. I downgraded my Poco Phone F1 to first ever software update that is 9.6.14 then set it up completely installed Geekbench Antutu and UX benchmark and switched it off and kept it off for 10 minutes tested one benchmark test kept it off again tested the second one and kept it off again tested the third one and then we moved to the next update and did the same thing and compared the scores today is episode three of that so let's go ahead and unlock this beautiful poco phone it's a monster of a device i really feel sorry for this phone because this thing still has a lot of potential given the right software it can give you good battery backup good camera quality and a lot of other things so we are on the home screen. Let's first look at the software situation. So let's go to settings over here and let's go to about phone. Now over here, this is a Pocophone F1, 6 GB RAM, 64 internal. The update we are on right now is 11.0.5 and the Android version is still Android 9. So there are still gonna be two videos on this particular series. In the next video, we will move to 11.0.9, which is the first ever Android 10 update for Pocophone F1. And finally, we will go to MIUI 12.0.2 in which we will see the conclusion and we will have a particular graph to show you the changes. So what do we have here? So First, we will actually go ahead and look at the UI snappiness. Now, I have just started the phone, okay? I did this in the previous video as well, and I am trying my best to love the new update, but I just launched, sorry about that, but I just launched two applications and it's considerably slow. It's considerably slow, guys. If you don't believe me, go ahead and watch the first and second episode. Uh, this is MIUI 11, this is Android 9. So the version is bumped up, Android version is bumped up, everything is great. Why is this happening? I don't understand why are they doing this. So look at that. That is that is not laggy, but that half a second wait right there. There, Yeah, we are on 100 megabytes per second, 100 Mbps connection and should not be happening, right? So nonetheless, you know, we say let's let's maybe launch YouTube. You see that? Yeah. So it was not like that in 8.1, the first update. It just used to boom, open, app launched, end of business. That's how a phone should be. Okay, you wanna give some animations? Give us like a split second of animation and bam, make sure the app launches by the end of the animation. What sense does it make for you to give an update in which you will first give us an opening app animation and then a blank screen even for half a second and then the app would load? You are wasting resources there, Xiaomi. I don't know why you guys are doing it. Anyways, that is ridiculous. So we're going to clear all the applications real quick. Okay. And then we're going to go to the first benchmark that is Geekbench. 
Now we've not done the runs. This time I try to do things a little differently so that I can actually show you between recordings. Now if you look at the timing right now, it's 5.01 on the same day when this video is going out. Okay. I'm running this benchmark now. Okay. And I will stop recording. Once the benchmark is done, I will show you the score. We'll compare the Geekbench score with the other applications. Then I'm going to turn the phone off, repeat the process with Antutu, turn the phone off, repeat the process with UX Bench. Now, when I say turn the phone off in these three instances, the phone will be off for 10, 10 minutes each. And you will see that by the time I finish shooting this video over here, it should be something like 5.30, 5.40 or even six o'clock. So let's wait for this benchmark to complete and then we'll turn the phone off. All right. So surprisingly and shockingly, the test just completed. As you can see, it is 5.08 in the evening right now. And this is the score that we got 375-1201. Now, let me give you a little background on that. Even before we actually go ahead and test or, you know, verify this with other versions or earlier versions of this particular phone. Uh, you saw that I turned the phone on. It was off before, you know, turning it on for 10 to 15 minutes. We just opened a bunch of applications and then closed it. That is nowhere near. Like these are basic applications that we opened, guys. We opened what? We opened the phone dialer. We opened the browser. We have not even tried launching PUBG, which is installed on this phone. Still, okay. Now, now let's talk about the Geekbench situation. The single core. Uh, let me actually see if I can take a three finger screenshot. I can. So this is the score and 375 and 1201. Now let's go to gallery over here. Albums, screenshots. All right. So uh, let's start with the first one. Now, as you can see, I have labeled this 9.6.14, 505 single core, 2035 multi core. All right. Okay fine no worries there amazing performance expected from a snapdragon 845 we move to one more update that is uh, i have labeled this 10.0.6.0 so 470 1946 okay completely fine okay benefit of doubt given 5 to 10 percent differences here and there thermal throttling a lot of applications in the background blah 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 fine okay now this is the reason what we are doing today is critical this is the reason I kept the phone off at the start of the video. This is the reason I actually opened a few apps and closed everything in front of the camera to show you that there is nothing in the memory. There is enough battery in the phone. I still have the same Airtel SIM card. I still am connected on the same table to the same 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. We are still scoring 375 and 1201. Like this is 800 points less and this is straight up 125 points less. Now, I don't even know what exactly is going on. We don't have a custom recovery installed. We don't have anything else installed. Let's, you know, power this phone off. The time right now is 5.09. Okay. So at 5.20, we will go ahead and power this phone on again. Okay. And then we're going to run Antutu. And once it's done running that, we're going to compare it with the earlier versions or earlier scores. But I don't get it. What tech wizardry is going over here? What exactly is Xiaomi trying to do? If somebody can understand what I did wrong, I would be, you know, more than glad to know because I am sending a message across to thousands of subscribers that Xiaomi is doing something drastically wrong. And in today's video, my notion of that thinking has increased by leaps and bounds. So we are going to move back. You know, we are going to move to the next part of Antutu. two. Let's wait for the phone to cool down for 10 minutes and at 520, we will again go ahead and run a benchmark. All right. So it's been more than 10 minutes that the phone has been off. It's actually more than 15 minutes to be precise. It's 527 right now. So we're going to quickly turn the phone on. Okay. And we're going to close everything in memory and then we're going to run Antutu. two. So as you, you know, as it is evident from the video so far, the scores in Geekbench have definitely taken a hit. Uh, someone yesterday in the comment se section did mention that uh, MIUI is designed to detect Antutu as a benchmark application. At least uh, the time when this particular update came out, Antutu was the go-to benchmark for a lot of people like tech reviewers, companies and everything. So let's actually go ahead and close any version of any app that is available. So as you can see, the time is 5.29. We're going to start running Antutu right now and we're going to see how much it scores. All right. 
okay that is from the previous test we're going to do the test again so just a couple of thoughts that i have in my mind i would like to share with you guys now this is just one update one company that we are talking about i have a really really interesting theory and idea now i do have to you know say that i have access to another redmi note 8 pro on which i can try this i can also try this on the k20 pro but i'll, I'll do this particular series in one of the two devices and I wonder if we can do it on other phones like OnePlus, uh, Oppo, Realme series. I will go ahead and do my research and if I can actually make a whole series of how a particular manufacturer you know, treats software updates for different devices, it could be a very, very interesting thing to watch and create content on. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular thought. For now, we will wait for Antutu complete the benchmark and then we will compare the scores and then once again we're going to turn the phone off for 10 to 15 minutes and then the last but not the least we're going to run ux benchmark and then we can sum up the video let's wait for this benchmark to complete all right so we have the test completed and this is exactly going the way i expected and to two did not score low 340,635. if i remember correctly our previous test was 344,000. so that actually clearly signifies that they are cheating when it comes to benchmark numbers because if you see over here this is 9.6.14 3,23,075 so at that time whatever version of Antutu it was this would probably have been the best score and then they released an update and probably would have designed the phone to show the maximum amount of performance reduce thermal throttling and give you the best numbers in Antutu making you believe that the phone is performing like a beast after the update and and now if you continue over here and look at the current score it is 3,40,635 which is very well within you know around so 10 to 12 percent of the difference which is a normal standard considered across the industry for deviations when it comes to multiple benchmarks so we've done with Geekbench we've done with Antutu the interesting result will be UX benchmark now this iPhone keeps moving sorry about that I'm using it between shots but what we're going to do now, this is 540 over here. We're going to power the phone off for another 10 to 15 minutes. And then for the last time on this particular update, we're going to go ahead and turn it on and run UX benchmark. And then we can conclude the video. All right, so last leg of the video, uh, we have kept the phone off for more than 10 minutes. It is 554 right now. We are going to quickly turn this on. One thing I have to say in this particular update, for some reason, the phone is booting up really, really fast. Okay. And uh, we are going to clear all the apps in the memory and then we are going to run UX benchmark. And then we're going to compare UX benchmark with the last two updates. And as I did say at the start of the video, by the time we are going to hit the last episode of this particular uh, series, that is episode 5 on MIUI 12, we are going to create a graph and sort of, you know, test it out and share the results with you. So let's unlock the phone. Let's see if we have anything in memory, bunch of applications. Let's go to UX benchmark, hit OK, run benchmark again. It is running. This is not a benchmark which takes a very, very long time. And this is the score from one of the previous updates, 10.0.6.0, uh, I believe. But uh, let's, you know, while we are towards the end of this particular video, let's talk about a few basics over here. Now, as I have been saying in episode one and episode two, this is not to discredit any of the, you know, manufacturers. But what I believe in, I mean, uh, I know I'm comparing apples to oranges, but Oxygen OS is a, you know, software UI as well. Uh, Motorola UI, you can look at that, okay. Uh, even Asus for that matter, they used to have Zen UI when I used to own the Zenfone 3 or Zenfone 4, the first phone with uh, 4 gigs of RAM and stuff like that. So everybody seems to be moving towards a cleaner experience. Look at Samsung for that matter. Their look hasn't changed much, but their experience has changed. So yeah, it's 556. So the timelines are there in the video. I don't even know what to say it clearly okay at the start of the video i clearly specified that the apps are taking longer to open in this particular update 
okay and the ux benchmark score has gone to 167940 now while i sum this video up let me tell you i have not installed any custom kernel we don't have twrp installed the only thing that is there on this phone is that the bootloader is unlocked so that has got nothing to do with stock software updates so let's have a look across the board over here what exactly happened today so first of all let's talk about a ux benchmark in the first update if you see over here 9.6.14 we were at 2,33,752 from that we moved to 10.0.6.0 to like 27,000 that's 5,000 points less and now today's update so 1,67,000 that is again you know a, a huge difference okay so once again the conclusion is absolutely right that UX benchmark and Geekbench is giving us the right information that with each passing update the manufacturer is slowing the phone down Antutu is giving us similar results, but Geekbench and UX Benchmark are showing us the truth. Now, you know, this was episode 3. We will continue to do this at update 11.0.9.0 and 12.0.2. This is a clear, clear indication that Xiaomi is slowing the phone down with software updates. I don't know why they are doing that, but you know, you if you want me to test gaming, I would. But the UX itself, the benchmark numbers itself are telling us the truth. So there is no point in gaming. I can still go ahead and do the live streams and stuff like that. But nonetheless, there will be an episode 4, which is Android 10 11.0.9. And there will be episode 5, which will be the final conclusion. And I can already see where we are going. Now, just like the previous video, before I end this, couple of very, very important things. First, share it no matter what if you don't have poco if you use xiaomi if you don't use xiaomi no matter what the reason just share it with people let them see the episodes and let them make a you know calculated decision if they buy a phone today which is 10 20 30 thousand rupees with each passing update their phone is going to slow down in in one one and a half year they will be forced to buy a new phone thinking their phone is old and bad whereas that is not the truth the hardware is very much capable xiaomi is restricting the performance we will continue you know our detailed research and share the information with you stay tuned for episode four and five but make this viral guys it's a humble request and yes today evening we're going to stream on the iphone 11 it's not a 12 this is the iphone 11 this is my new daily driver i wanted a personal phone so that is what it is and in more details about what is going on with updates and why i switched to an iphone there will be another video but you can come to the live stream at 8 30 we will watch some pubg or call of duty mobile gameplay and we will have a lot of fun keep sharing keep supporting and stay subscribed until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.